Up first this evening, Mark Golding has been elected the new president of the People's National Party PNP. The St. Andrew South Member of Parliament defeated Lisa Hanna in today's presidential election. Mr. Golding received 1,740 votes to Lisa Hanna's 1,444. Now the results were announced at the party's headquarters on Old Hope Road this evening. I've just been presented with the results by the Director of Elections, Glasspool Brown. There was a 96% turnout of voters today. Comrade Lisa Hanna received 1,444 votes, and Comrade Mark Golden received 1,740 votes. So Comrade Mark Golden has been elected as the new president of the People's National Party. I think we had a good day. Um, we, uh, based on the turnout, obviously the delegates came out in high numbers. Um, the process went well in terms of um, registration to vote in without any issues. We didn't have any major problems and um, it's obvious that the delegates came out in, in, in their large numbers. Meanwhile, Mr. Golding gave his victory speech at party headquarters shortly after the announcement, uniting the parties at the top of the list of priorities. It is with a deep sense of humility and gratitude that I stand here this evening, having been duly elected the sixth president of our great movement, the People's National Party. I want to thank my campaign team, my road team, my communications team, my family in South St. Andrew, my family here with me, and of course, every delegate in every region that came out and supported the process, every party group, the PNPYO. The Patriots, the Women's Movement, and the National Workers' Union. Yeah. Comrade Lisa Hanna, thank you for a strong but collegial contest. The word is love. The word is love. This party will be a big tent for all of us. I am ready to sit down with you and your team and to share our vision for the People's National Party. I'm ready to hear your vision so we will all unite and work together as a party to rebuild and refocus our efforts to build a stronger People's National Party. It is clear that our members and supporters, and indeed the people of Jamaica, are longing for us to bridge the gaps of discord that we have been experiencing for some time. We must create harmony out of that discord. The people of Jamaica are demanding that of us. The foundation of our unity will be respect and love. Love for our family, that is the People's National Party, and most importantly, love for our country, Jamaica. And the People's National Party supporters have been expressing their expectations for the new leader. The race for presidency of the PNP has ended and Mark Golding has emerged as the victor. Before the elections, Mr. Golding spoke about much plans for the 82-year-old party when he becomes leader. The delegates have spoken, but what do they expect from their new leader? A firm grip on policy that will transform the Jamaican political economy for the benefit of all citizens, not just a few with plenty left behind. Just unite the party. First, we have to get rid of some of the trivial divisions which plague the party. The unity has to come from within the supporters and the members of the party. Unity aside, the delegates also pointed to other areas the new party president should place focus. Structural reorganization, um, being able to reignite the passion by members and supporters. Our passion seems to at least be asleep. Before we talk anything else, we have to understand where we are as a party with the people of Jamaica, what are our problems. Because even if we want to bring the love back, we are going to have to know what are the concerns of the comrades out there, the over 100,000 comrades who never voted in the last election. On Saturday, 3,184 of the party's delegates voted to elect a new president at 12 polling stations across the island. Anthony Logue, TVJ News.